Okay, now I've got something here I just want to show. I've got a uh, part with a shell feature that failed, and I just want to work around that somehow. I want to I want to uh, fix the geometry so that it works. So I'm going to get rid of these four holes here by using the uh, delete face feature. This might be the cowardly way to do it, but it's the way I'm going to do it. And uh, let's see, I'm going to select these four holes here and use the delete and patch method and uh, well sure enough that works okay so congratulations for the delete face now I put the delete face after the shell in a rolled back state so now I want to actually flip positions I want to reorder the shell after the delete face so I'm gonna drag it down here but it's not gonna let me do that now why won't it do that it says it cannot reorder change would put the child feature before the parent feature. Well, how can that be? I, I didn't do anything to create a relationship between those two. So, well, let, let's see if I can take the delete face and reorder it above the shell feature. And, well, aside from this crazy message, remove dimension breaks, which has been in the software for for many releases, let's say, um, it it allows me to do it. So if it thought that it was that the delete face was a child, now it doesn't somehow, and uh, I, I don't know how all of this works, but this is the kind of thing that you run into frequently in SolidWorks where things don't quite work the way you expect them to. Um, maybe we can get some things like this fixed and get the software cleaned up. Thanks.